Hey everybody, and Tony here, fresh from watching Django Bates, who was performing live at the Royal Wigmore Hall. And alongside him were his bandmates, Peter Brunn on the drums, and Peter Elt on the double bass. Now, I've never really heard of these three musicians before, and after watching them at that very concert hall, all I have to say is... I am thoroughly impressed with what they have done. They basically have great chemistry together, and the music that they all played, it was just so exciting to listen to. Every single moment did not feel so boring, and, well, the way that they managed to collaborate with each other, with Django and his impressive piano skills, and Peta with his skills on the double bass, and of course, my personal favorite, Peta Brunn on the drums. I mean, my goodness. These three made a lot of jazz music come to life, and it's basically their original works. The works that stood out to me were the following. Um, Scrapple from the Apple, Passport, my Little Suede Shoes, Laura, and I guess that's pretty much about it. And there was also this one song that was called Sadness, something, something like that. And they started out with this vocal, but then they basically played on and on and on. And there was this other song in which they played at first, but then they had this ooh, something like that vocal line and I thought it was just fantastic and I could really see the passion and fire that these three gentlemen have and just seeing them enjoying what they do is simply put very thrilling and it definitely made my evening and not to mention before each song Django would well basically talk to us, the audience, and he seemed like a very down-to-earth and very funny person that I'd really like to, well, hang out with as well. So he's definitely a very down-to-earth man, well, based on my understanding, and he's someone that I'm sure that I'd love to meet, and I'm sure that he's watching this video right now because, well, all I have to say is that there have been a lot of positive things I can say about these three gentlemen, Django, Peta, and Peta, for having such great chemistry and for making my evening of jazz music so memorable because, well, of course I was expecting something more classical because, well, it's the Royal Wigmore Hall. Usually there's a lot of classical music events occurring on that concert hall, but let me just say that I was very pleased with what I got, and I'm also a jazz fan myself, so all I can say is that Django, Peta, Peta, if you're watching this video right now, thank you so much for making that evening so memorable for me. It was just so fun seeing you all do your thing and share your love of jazz music and share your talents to us the audience, it's totally an unforgettable moment, and whenever I have my friends over, I'm sure that they're going to love you for what, sh what you've done, and I'm very certain that you'll all have a great future, and here's looking out to all of you. I'm sure that you will all be very successful. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, it was a great evening of jazz, and all I have to say is that these three gentlemen are very prodigi prodigious in their craft, and I hope to see them polish it even more, because they're on a very great way, because it's basically also my first time seeing them, so I was very impressed with what I got. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for my review of La Boheme, which is going to be shown at the Royal Opera House. So until then, this is Antoni signing off and wishing you all a good night.